Hello everybody, I'm Avery Harris, YouTube content creator. I give YouTube tutorials like this one here and in today's video, what I got for you is how to add donations to your YouTube videos. Now, some of these you have to be a part of the YouTube partnership, but some of these methods you won't. So even if you're not a partner, hopefully you'll become one very soon so you can use all of these methods. I also wanna say that if you don't have a crowdsourcing platform that you use yet, and you're still looking for one, then I have a list of approved sites from YouTube that's gonna be in the comment section. If you're thinking about using a non-approved site, like PayPal, for example, then you won't be able to use any methods that require you to have a YouTube partnership. So keep that in mind. Last thing I wanna say before I get started with this list is that I've made a video that shows you how to add a donate button to your YouTube channel. So if you're interested in that, check that out as well. So the first method I got for you on how to add donations into your YouTube videos is to actually just say it in the video. You know how people say, why don't you go ahead and like, subscribe, click the bell notification. You can also just go ahead and say, hey, if you wanna do even more for the channel, why don't you go ahead and donate to me at XYZ. Check out my Patreon, check out my GoFundMe. Show some clips of you working hard, you know, behind the scene footage, maybe some bloopers here and there. Talk about the perks, let the text pop up, be all flashy and something. Or maybe you wanna do something completely different. Hey, I don't know. So let's say you don't wanna use a third party. You just wanna use YouTube for your crowdsourcing as well. Let's also say that you become a YouTube partner. Well, in this case, what you could do is go on your YouTube studio, go into the monetization tab and then click on the members tab. And then you can start your own application to have a membership on YouTube. This membership is for your fans. They'll become one of your members and then they can donate to you. You can start an application and then you will tell YouTube essentially what you want your membership your crowdsourcing situation to look like. As you can see, I did not start mine yet, but I do plan on making a tutorial on how this looks exactly. So if you're interested, be on the lookout for that. The third way I got for you is by taking your URL from your crowdsourcing platform and then adding it into your description box or adding it as a pinned comment. In which case you would grab your URL from wherever it is and then go into YouTube Studio, go into your specific video, go into the descriptions, and then add it somewhere into the description, press save so you can save the changes, and that's it. You can also go into your actual video and then leave it as a pinned comment so anybody that decides to look at your comments, they'll see it right at the top. So the next method I got is by making your donation link a card in your YouTube videos. So going back into your video details, what you want to do is click on card. And from here, you want to add a new element and the element is going to be a link. If you are not a partner with YouTube yet, this link will be grayed out so you won't be able to use it. But if you are, then you can go ahead and click on it. And from here, paste in your URL. YouTube will check to make sure that it's one of their approved sites. And if it is, you can press OK. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and add your title, your teaser text, and you want to add a PNG to this card and then you can press OK. You also want to make sure that you put it exactly where you want it to be in the timeline. So this brings me to my last method I got for you, which is adding your donation link to the end screen. So what you would do is the exact same thing you did with your video card, but you would do it as a part of the end screen. So you would go into your end screen, click on element, click on link, Make sure that's an approved site, then add your text, your teaser text, and your PNG, and that's it. Now I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, I don't wanna do this on every single video one by one. I would really like to know if I can do all these all at once. And the answer to that is no, but yes. You won't be able to do it on YouTube by itself. You would have to get an outside management tool like TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy will let you do bulk end screens, in which case you can change all your end screens at once. You can do the same thing with cars. So if you're interested in checking out TubeBuddy and seeing what else they have that helps out with YouTube management, I would suggest you check out the link that will be in the description box below. And with that being said, that's all I got for you today. So hopefully this information was useful to you. And if it was, why don't you go ahead and like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you can notify when new videos come out from me. I make new videos every week. Thanks for watching.